Today I'm going to go over a pretty useful tip in Microsoft Teams, and that is saving your conversations so you can go back to them later. You can bookmark important parts of a conversation. Maybe somebody has messaged you during a time when you're really busy, and you know you want to come back to it. This is like when you get a text message from somebody and you want to mark it as unread so that you get that annoying notification later on that says, hey, you still have one unread text messages. This is a similar type of functionality, except it bookmarks it here in Microsoft Teams. And you can save important pieces of information so that you'll always have them very quick and at your fingertips. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. First, I'm going to start in a team. And so here I am in the sales and marketing general team. And I see, well, let's pick a good one. Nestor, where he says, I'm attending a conference next month. Do you have any Contoso swag to hand out? So maybe this is something that I want to come back to later. Maybe it's something that I want to make sure that I pay attention to at some point during the day. So what I can do is, well, first I can like this. Well, it looks like I already had. I'll give him another like. Then if I hover over his chat, it does give me the availability to like, heart, laugh, whatever, but there's this three dots more options. And so in here, this is the part where we can make a few different changes. The first one we're going to see is that save this message, which is what I'm going to dive into and go a little bit deeper into. But I did want to pay close attention to some of the other functionality here within the more options. One is that unread. Unread is, like I mentioned before, it's like marking a conversation unread as a text message. It will show up in your activity bell so that it will give you that little reminder to say, hey, remember me? So if we did that, then it will show up in our activity as unread. Now, there is a few other options in here as well. We can copy a link to this so we can send this on in a chat to say, hey, did you see what Nestor just posted in here in a one-on-one -on -one chat if we wanted to, so we could copy this link. I've just copied it. As you can see, those little pop-ups said copy to clipboard. I can go into a chat and I can message my team directly to say, hey guys, did you see what Nestor just posted? And then simply copy and paste that out and then send it in, right? And so notice it does carry the message along with it, say when it was posted, and then I can click this which will bring me directly to the team and the exact post. So there it is. And now you'll notice it's highlighted so people can easily see the conversation and see what all was going on. Pretty useful. Next in the three dots more options, we have share via Outlook, which we can do the same thing that we just did except through an email. If we're dealing with people on other sides of the country or other sides of the world, that are speaking a different language or maybe we have branches uh, all over the globe and they are speaking different languages, we can translate this. That's pretty cool, right? So we can go ahead and translate it out, which eh, this was already in English, so it's not going to work completely. But you'll notice that there was a character change there. Uh, whether it was intended or not is another thing. So we can't translate something that is already in English, but that is how you would do it. It would try and identify the language and then convert it to your default language, which my default language in this instance is English. Next would be the immersive reader. That'll read it out for you. So if you want it to be read for you, then you can click on immersive reader. You can pin this. So pinning it, the message will pin for everyone who views the cha channel. And so you can pin that to so say, hey guys, Remember what Nestor said, we need to get this back to him. Then we have the unpin, obviously now it's changed, but we do have turn on notifications where we could say, I wanna get notified for anyone who replies this conversation. So I wanna make sure that people are responding to Nestor to say, hey, yes, we got swag and I'm going to give it to you, which Megan seems like she is taking care of this, but she did tag Alex here. And uh, Alex has not responded. So maybe we want to get notifications just to ensure that Alex is on his game. Now we're going to go back in here and we're going to see this save this message, which is the entire purpose of this video and what we wanted to accomplish. So we'll click save this message. Now, right off the bat, you'll notice that nothing has changed. But if we were to go up here in the right and we click on this, 
Now we'll go to the saved area, the bookmark saved. And then once I click on this, you'll see all of the different messages that I have saved where I can go back to them at any time, revisit them, or make any necessary changes, take any action that I need to based on these messages. Now, if there becomes a time when I no longer need it, you just simply click on the little uh, flag here. So if I wanted to undo one of these chats that said uh, that I had bookmarked or saved previously, I can just click on that. And then now it is unsaved. So there you have it. That is how you save a message in Microsoft Teams. It becomes extremely useful. We use these a lot for passwords or tasks or uh, re reminders or, you know, anything really that you want to come back on because when you're digging through this chat that uh, is in a team or a channel, sometimes it becomes a lot. And when you have multiple chats going on, it can really become a lot. So this is a way to filter through the multiple conversations that you're having and is a very, very useful tool. So guys, please like and subscribe if you found any use out of this video. And if there's a tip or trick or a problem that you're having some trouble with, uh, go ahead and drop it in the comments and I'll do a video on it to help you guys out. So thanks for watching and catch you in the next lesson.